So I'm the Vice President of Global Services at Red Hat, which is an enterprise software firm. I run the Global Services organization, which is about 1,200 people within the company. Um, and it really has three departments that we focus on, global consulting, global training and certification, as well as global partner enablement. And so really what we do is we work with our clients and our business partners first and foremost to make sure they're getting the value from the software that they discuss with our sales teams in the pre-sales phase, so client success, priority number one. Uh, the second priority is really building around expertise. And so what we're trying to do is build more and deeper expertise around the Red Hat technology, and especially for, for this conference, uh, around OpenStack and, and the whole you know, telecom space, build deep expertise and capabilities inside Red Hat, as well as inside our partners and customers. So first of all, I'll start with kind of the core infrastructure component, because at the end of the day, what we're solving is an opportunity for infrastructure for the telecom industry. And what we're basing that upon is some common infrastructure called OpenStack and an architecture called network function virtualization. And so what we have done is we've built a whole roadmap for education, for certification around the OpenStack curriculum. And what we're doing actually right now is we're advancing that curriculum to include more capability around networking and networking capability specifically for the telcos. And that'll be in uh, kind of the third level of our OpenStack curriculum. On the consulting side, over the last couple of years, we built out capability around OpenStack where we have now practices, deep practices in North America, in Europe, as well as in Asia around OpenStack. And what we announced internally about eight weeks ago is the launching of a telco practice. And so we hired um, an individual from Cisco, Tom Waldrop. Tom is now our global leader reporting directly to me as well as to our telco leader, Daryl Jordan-Smith who is building out capabilities specifically around network function virtualization and the telco opportunity here in North America first and then of course in the other geographies as well. And what that will do, Martin, is that will complement the already strong infrastructure skills we have around OpenStack with specific skills around the telco industry, the telco opportunity, as well as work with a number of the business partners in the telco community, making sure that we can support those applications or VNFs on that infrastructure that we built. Sure, so I think what OpenStack really provides, first and foremost, is provides them with flexibility, it provides them with a cost advantage, and it provides them with the capability to have a much more agile business. And so if we start with flexibility, because it's now software-defined everything, it's going to be a lot more uh, easy for the telco providers to change their infrastructure to develop new applications on this um, platform than it would have been in the past where you had specialized hardware, specialized software. By the fact that it's now general purpose, it also should be a much more cost-effective cost platform for them in the short term as well as in the long term. And I think from an agility perspective, because it's based on an open technology, it also gives them a lot of choice as they look to various vendors to partner with. Of course, we hope it's Red Hat, but it does give them choice because it is an open source uh, foundation for everything that we're doing in that space. I think one of the real benefits here is a real strong suit of Red Hat in that everything we do is done in these upsource Upsource, upstream communities. And these upstream communities are really where the innovation uh, happens. And so what we do as a company, I think one of the secret sauces of Red Hat is not only can we contribute to those upsource communities, but we can take those projects, of which you announced several of them, and we can turn projects into products. And I think Red Hat does that best. So one of the real advantages I see to the, to the telcos or CSPs, as you call them, is being able to take the best innovations coming out of open source and turn them into commercial grade enterprise products so that they can scale and bet their business on these technologies.